Welcome back, one and all. This is Artman Advance, bringing you Fallout New Vegas. I have not had a lot of exposure to New Vegas. I believe I have played around a third to about half of this game. I am not sure. It has been years. And I think I'm going to build off of my experience with Fallout 3. Sticking mostly to rifle weapons as they are the most familiar, but I think I will also try to go for energy weapons. Yeah, I never made it to Vegas back when I did actually play this game. Like, the last big thing I truly remember was the gas station with the dinosaur and some kind of, of jerry-rigged barracks. And if that has said anything, uh, nothing else to you, this game will not be family-friendly. Therefore, I'm not going to swear like a sailor, but I cannot guarantee that words will not be said. <laughs> I'll bet. War. War never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after. So pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. That being said, I have gone over the various routes with, a good, with my good friends that have played this game before me in much greater detail. 
And of the four routes, I believe, I am going to ultimately be going with the house on this one. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. Alright, let's build our character. How'd I do it? In-game voices could be raised. All right, let's go ahead and take care of that. Let's see if this works, all right? Most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Let's see what we've got to work with first before we decide to go custom. like a cross between 8 and 10. So, I'm going to keep the hair. Green eyes. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm going to keep the hair but add the beard. Yeah, I like this face. I'm gonna go with champagne hair. Goatee, yeah, that's the one I'm going with. Hairstyle. Let's see what we got. I might stick with Tunnel Snake. Or, no, I might stick with Pompadour. Pompadour is my choice if nothing better comes out. Nah. Nah. No. Hmm. No. Hmm. Maybe. Nah. No. Eh. Hmm. Not sure I could pull this look off myself. Nah. Mm mm. Eh. Nah. Oh. You know what? I think we're gonna stick with the pompadour. Nice grizzled look. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that vigor tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Ooh, 
looking good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you got back all your faculties. Good perception. Six or seven for the time being. I think I might want to be hardy. But it also affects the energy weapons, and I think that's one category I'm sticking with later on. Be a little hardy. I'm open to suggestions. Okay. That just affects my starting, huh? Eight luck to break the casinos. How does this look? Welcome, Isaac. You missed the end of Skyrim, but we're starting off on New Vegas. <laughs> Ten intelligence and eight luck. That is set in stone. What else can I do with what I've got left? Looks fine, not gonna critique too hard. You feel like I can work with this in energy weapons? Like, I'm not asking you to dictate my run. I would like a gentle push in the right direction. Easily? All right. Look at that. Maybe them bullets done your brain some good. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn or dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. All right. I'm gonna say a word. 
I want you to say the first thing. I'm just going to answer these completely honestly. Gone. I'm not going to try to meta game. Dog. Cat. House. Shelter. Night. Sleep. Bandit. Vaporize. Light. Night. Hmm. Probably should have closed my eyes and done this. Torch. Mother. Now, the first thing that came to mind was love, but the closest thing there is caretaker. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. Alright. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. I'm gonna go with slightly agree here. I try to be a voice of reason. I try to be a neutral party. I try not to resort to violence, but sometimes it can't be helped. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I really need to open up to people and let them help me, but I try not to burden others with my with my problems, so no opinion. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. As much as I love people watching my work and commenting on them, I am not scrambling to get others' attention on a regular basis. Slightly disagree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Strongly disagree. I always love to learn. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Slightly disagree. Very indecisive on my part. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Let's see. <laughs> you know, I kind of see that too. I was going to say something of a vase, but let's see. Shadow on a door frame, I guess. Okay. How about this one? I see a bug. I, I see a dragonfly at the top. And I'm not sure what at the bottom. A battle axe. <laughs> Let's call it a ship. Last one. A bearded man. I see two friends, like, giving a high five. I also see the mushroom cloud in there, though. Yeah, basically, I see two gnomes high fiving. Let's go with the optim with a optimistic view and say it's a light. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. All right. I can work on barter later. Energy weapons. The game knows what I'm going for. Science and sneak. Huh? Maybe. No sense in trying to boost martyr and speech. I'll get those over time. I know. I'm just trying to think which three will be most useful. I'm thinking of keeping energy weapons and science and maybe reallocating sneak somewhere else, but where would be best? Oh, put it into speech anyway? And science to... Oh, so cover my weaknesses, huh? Alright then. 
Definitely keeping energy weapons, though, because I'm going to pivot to them as soon as I can. Alright. I guess that's it. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. All right, let's see. <laughs> I just love that sassy picture there. Nah. Nah, I'm not gonna take a negative five to my only means of dealing damage. I'm sorry, but out here is eater be eaten. Good natured and skilled. Okay. I'll keep those in mind. I don't plan on doing a lot of melee and unarmed. I'm trying to step away from that. Plus five and six, and minus five and five. Well, let's see what everything else is. No. Negative ten percent experience just means kill more things. Good-natured seems like a good choice. One, two, three, four... Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. No, it's an even trade-off. Five skills get five, plus five, five skills get negative five. Then again, I could always offset the uh, negative five to guns by using them more often since I can more easily repair them. I try to be good-natured. Alright, let's go then. Alright, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. As soon as I get my pit boy, I'm putting some clothes on. I know I've got some. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. 
Yeah, thanks for patching me up. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. No, we're not gonna go hardcore mode. Like, I have no doubts I could do it, but... This is me just learning this game and all it has to offer. I'm not saying I'm an absolute newbie, but I want to experience this, you know? I look in this. Uh, there we go. Not too bad. I like it. Midnight science fiction feature at the Mojave Drive-In. Courier 6, signed Ulysses. Anything else? Let's see, we were supposed to come here. being led. Is it leading me into this place? It looks like it. Ah, I have to come in the front door, not the side door. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Uh, Doc said you could teach me? Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Hey, Cheyenne. You're a pretty puppy. Yes, you are. What is now, the glitch? See the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Everything all right? Until next. Uh, how do I? How do I take? She said there were some 
bottles where ah I play the game I get a 50-50 chance that Cheyenne's eyes float out of her skull well, it doesn't look like she's got it the girl that's Wow, did I just suck? That's the right idea. Look down the site. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? All right, I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Okay. So it wasn't just me. If this water supply was important, you'd have like some kind of road leading to it. Instead of just being like, once you see that tree, take a right. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos that clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital. It's hard and expensive to make roads. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. Let's see. Where are they? Ah, there's one. Getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Yeah, sure. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Okay, I can actually notice a difference with my weapon drawn here.
Resave often. Let's see. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Yeah, it couldn't hurt. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. All right. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. All right, uh, let's see. Set layer. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Flower and Xander root. Those arrows should be pointing me in the right direction, I Okay, that was scary. Everything just stopped for a moment. Look, there's a perfectly good road right here. Why not tell people to just follow the road? And then put up signs. Oh yeah! <laughs> it did not take long to knock him out, especially with my two Dramora uh, lords. Graveyard is the water tower. I see it. Don't get that scorpion's attention. I can just go in and out. Alright then.
No, it was empty. this before I'm detected. Uh, yeah, I'm actually still in the process of doing that. We killed some geckos. Let's see. So we are looking for a flower. On one of the graves, there's a snow globe. I wish I could jump like these guys do, but sadly I do not jump good. Oh, might as well check out my grave? Alright. good in it. Someone later will pay 2k for each. Alright, I'll keep my eyes peeled then. Alright. Back to the school.
Yeah, that looks like a schoolhouse to me. Oh. Energy, weapons, build, cheese to check, chit for repeater weapon. I'm guessing you meant need to check, chit for repeater weapon? Like this route? Oh, there it is. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. Might be a recharger pistol in the coyote cave nearby. Now, I'm not gonna be up for too much longer on this one. Uh, let's see. Does I need to bring him this way? Am I going in this house? No. In this trailer? No. Following the arrow. you got yeah these will do just fine just fine all right now we're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder go on over to that campfire now give it a try hey, that's right. not bad see all it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. No, I'd be glad to. Just go ahead and, uh, make a slider. Hmm, I wonder if those will be important later. Uh, 
Ah, empty soda bottle. Let's make our way back. Poke in, say hi, and then find a good stopping point for this week. Okay, it did it again. Kind of feels like an afterthought in Skyrim, and I believe a little bit of an afterthought in Fallout 3, but it looks like uh, it's actually worthwhile to hold on to food in this game. can Easy Pete do for you? Anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fantasy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Why are you called Easy Pete? was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. You're a prospector? Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts. Good money in it. Ever find anything good? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Hey, what's wrong with the NCR? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Ah, oh, tell me about them. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam. But the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. And uh, what's up with the Hoover Dam? The dam powers a lot of New Vegas, and then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. And what's with the big horners? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. 
Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Anything about Victor? The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Alright. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. Like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Alright. So, I was told... General store might have the repeater. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Uh, what you got? Can do. Grab a shovel to dig up them graves. It doesn't look like he has the repeaters on hand. I'm already wearing leather. Not sure, actually. Has a laser and plasma pistol. Yeah, but I can't afford them. Probably not going to use that, or that, that's pretty heavy. I wish I like this one, I'll get more out of it. Well, that one weighs more though. I do happen to have one, don't I? Get some cats for now. 
Pleasure doing business with you. Take it easy now. Alright, my good friend is going on. So, for now, for those of you watching on YouTube, this has been Artman Advanced. I thank each and every one of you for coming. And I will see you in the next one. And for those of you on Twitch, let us go ahead and set up that raid. I need to hurry though, I forgot to hit record on this one, so the faster I can get the raid up, the less I have to cut out later. Alright, let's go, Reploid Raid.